Okay, so I am starting with a natural no tip. And I'm going to cut that down. Okay, and now I've cut it down to um, the length that I like. And if you're interested in these clippers, I actually sell them for under four bucks on my website. If you want to go check that out, I'm at Etsy. Nice, and they're all pink. Okay, so now I've cut it. I'm not going to file it just yet. I'm going to do the design and then file it. First, I'm going to do is the back end. And I'm going to be doing that with the clear pink. And I'm going to place that back here. Oh, I'm going to have to turn my ceiling fan off. It's drying out the acrylic too fast. And if your acrylic dries too fast and you're not done forming it, just add some more liquid to it and you should be good to go. So now I've got that part of it done. I'm just going to make sure I'm going to add a little bit more acrylic to my brush here and just make sure I got that all cleaned up into a circle. And there's a very pretty neon green here. And we're going to get the brush nice and wet. Okay. And then I'm just going to grab a little bit of that green. And I'm going to bring it around the smile line there. I'm going to add a little bit more liquid because my ceiling fan's on and you turn it off. It's drying the acrylic way too fast. And then I am moving it upward. i got to turn the ceiling fan off. So let me grab some more of that green. And get that going. Yeah, that's much better. And then you move it upward. Upward, upward. And this can be as sloppy as you want it to be. So we're going to grab some acrylic, clean that brush off a little bit. And this red is very pigmented. Look at it, it's very potent red. And then I'm just going to apply that about halfway. And then bring it up. It looks like blood. It's so nice looking. We just kind of want it kind of sloppy. And I think I'm going to kind of make it to a tilt as well. Maybe make it go slanted that way just a little bit. Alright, so see now I have it on there. And you see it's not neat. It's just put on there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cover it with a clear acrylic and go from there. Okay, once I've covered that with clear acrylic, I am going to file and buff the nail. Okay, so now we're back and I have filed and buffed the nail. And I am going to be using this black from um, Art Deco, LA Looks. And I'm just gonna dab some onto the napkin. And then I'm going to be using this daughter, and I'm using a small side, not the large side, the smaller side. And I'm just going to grab some, and I'm going to be making this like little C's. Just like that. Little C's. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Maybe I should zoom in just a little bit so you can see little C's and I'm taking it into the nail bed as well just like so and as you see I'm only doing one half of the nail and then I'm taking it to the whole tip just like so and I think I'm going to add one more right there. Just like that. Then I'm going to let that dry. For okay, me. so I'm going to use this glitter nail polish and I'm using silver. And not that one because it's dry. So let's grab another one. I'm using this one. And I'm going to put some on the napkin. Definitely need to go buy a new bottle of this. Now I got some on there. I'm going to use the same dotter that I used for the black. 
and get some on there and I'm going to put that right in the middle of the dots. Hope you can see this. Right in the middle just to make them bling out a little bit. So, now we have that. I'm trying to see if I need to add any more. I think I'm going to add one more dot here. First the fire truck, and now they're cutting grass. Okay, and then we'll add one more here. I think that looks pretty. One more. Okay, so now I have the dots on there. I'm going to let that set for a minute. And then I'm going to apply this um, acrylic gel. And hopefully the landscapers will have passed us by then. Be right back. And like I said, I'm using Sally Hansen's Powerful Acrylic Gel, which is my number one favorite top coat now. And there is the leopard print with the green and red. And this was actually um, a request from a friend of mine who actually did used to do nails. Kind of a challenge for me to use red and green. Um, her challenge was to use nail polish, but I used acrylic. I did bring the polishes with me and I may still do that video but I'm not for sure but I really think it came out very pretty and I hope you enjoy this tutorial on this green and red leopard print alright guys thanks for watching and I will see you at the next one stay blessed